Yeah, where the weather is always good because the Bloedel Conservatory, Conservatory is the first domed floral conservatory in Canada. And guess what? It's open for business. The scaffolding is off. We're going to tell you all the great things you can do here coming up next. Hey, super cool. And I don't know about you guys, but I was talking to Nelson, our, one of our camera operators here, and he says he hasn't been here at the Bloedel Conservatory since he was 8 o'clock. I'm ashamed to say I've never been here. But you know, uh, Vicki, so many people really consider this such a special place. Absolutely. It's a magical place. It, people come here for all kinds of reasons. They come here for healing. Uh, people, there's so many community stories about people come here after cancer treatments. They come here to uh, write and revitalize and re-energize and it's a great place to relax. And to see some very cool things here. Mm -hmm. Who do we have here? This is Kramer who was just talking up a storm and now he's gotten camera shy. <laughs> of course. Uh, he's one of our newest additions. He was a, a rescue from a foster uh, con place and he's one of our superstars now. And is that how you get most of the birds that are here? Absolutely. Okay. People, birds live so long. Macaws can live 80 to 100 years, other parrots 60 or more years. So uh, people, they have life changes. So they want to know that their birds are going to a very safe, a very amazing place. So they will contact the conservatory. We also partner with Greyhaven Exotic Bird Sanctuary. Okay. And they're a rescue organization. How would you describe the conservatory? It's very warm in here. We're seeing birds that we typically wouldn't see mm -hmm. necessarily in Vancouver. It is a tropical par paradise oasis at the very top of our city. And we have over 500 species of exotic birds, or sorry, 200 species of exotic birds, 500 species of plants from all over the world in all different climate zones. We have a small cactus area. There's actually three climate zones in the conservatory. And there was a risk of, of really this place not necessarily being available to enjoy these magical experiences. Mm -hmm. In 2009, we almost lost it, but the Friends of Bloedel rallied together and we were the catalyst for the community because the community, when they heard it might close, really did not want to see this place um, be gone. Well, so. it's open for business and you can make your way here. It's only, what, six bucks to come in? Six fifty. Six yeah. fifty to come in, guys. Come on here, enjoy the sanctuary. You can also get a membership and come whenever you feel like. More details on their website. We got lots more throughout the morning here from Bloedel. Thank you. You know, and how many times do we get guests on our show saying, your breakfast television, where's my breakfast? Well, guess what? It's breakfast time here at the Bloedel Conservatory. Kramer's got his breakfast. What about these little guys? Oh, it's feeding time. Up next. First of all, um, obviously a lot of work kind of keeping these very vocal birds happy and healthy here at the Bloedel yes. Conservatory. Yes, indeed. So what kinds of things do you do? We have to um, feed them three times a day. Uh, and uh, first clean their perch because um, they're always dirty every day. Disinfect the balls at the end of the day. And uh, it takes about at least two hours. Now we've got Shirley that's very, and Alan, maybe come on over here. We've got Shirley that's busy getting ready to do what? She's pouring filtered water into the birth bath. Do they actually bathe in or is that for them yes, to drink? Yes, they also oh, okay. <laughs> they bathe sometimes, but it's it's mostly for right. the, the water. Let's show people what the birds are going to eat. So we've got breakfast on breakfast television for them here. Alan, let's show this right here. What do we have? We have three different types of seeds, canaries, finches, and big bird seeds. Okay. And we have millets. They love the millets. And uh, fruits, different types of fruits, and also um, worms. Oh, of course, the birds. For, for poutine. You know what yeah. they say about the early bird, right? Gets the worm. Yes, yeah. exactly. I'm going to help feed now. I'm going to do the millet here. So what do I have to do? You actually have to put them in a little trough. Okay. There you go. So go yeah. ahead, right in like this? Yeah, exactly. And then I guess we have to clamp it down, right? So that yeah. they don't sort of run off with the whole exactly, thing? Exactly, yeah. So you just squeeze it like that. Now, obviously, you know, these birds, because it's domed, it's this domed floral conservatory, by the way, the first in Canada, um, they're able to roam free. They're flying, they're crossing Absolutely. the path. It's yeah. up to people that come here to make sure that they watch out for the birds. The birds have the right of way. They have to be really careful, wheelchair, running kids. We really discourage. You have to be just be peaceful. It's a peaceful place. And you have to, sometimes we have little babies that are just starting to fly. So you absolutely have to watch where you're, what you're doing, where you're walking. Look at these little guys here. By the way, there's a big, uh, basically a celebration, Michelle. Of course, the scaffolding is off here at the Bloedel Conservatory. It's happening on September 25th. For more details, you can check out the website on the screen. But look at these little guys. Loving a little breakfast on breakfast television here at the Bloedel. But coming up after the break, we are going to chat a little bit about some of the great uh, birds that they have here at the Bloedel Conservatory, including Carmen and Maria. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
This is the job that I'm going to keep. I don't think that the first pitch is going to create any big jobs for me, but you know, there's some important work that you do here, Agnes. Uh, first of all, we're here at the Bloedel Conservatory. What kinds of things are we seeing um, Chris do, and I guess other apprentices here at the Bloedel? Well, the, um, they have to learn to handle the birds. They have to learn how to feed them. And um, it takes a while because, for example, Carmen and Maria are um, a little bit more skittish. And um, it takes about like two or three months before you can actually handle them. And what kind of bird is? Green winged macaws and their sisters. They were raised by an avian vet. Um, they're probably around 26 years old. Yeah. Wonderful. We're going to continue to make our way to some of the other birds while we're doing that. How many birds are actually here at the Blowdown? We have over 120 small birds, like, uh, like finches and stuff. And um, we have uh, nine birds on the perches. And this is kind of a tropical sort of setting, right? Absolutely. Okay. All our birds are tropical birds. What you won't we... find them in, in this environment. And it's such a great opportunity for people to learn yeah. about different birds. Yeah. What are we seeing right now? This is Art. And Art is a gentleman. He loves blondes. So if you oh. stay here, probably going to come down, right? <laughs> You're so handsome, my man. Hey, what are you doing, Art? He's, he's observing and you know we're hearing yes. a lot of different sounds here this is it is a sanctuary for not only these you know birds and and plants and even insects absolutely they're important as well yeah, we don't spray pesticides in here uh, we bring um, uh, predator insects to take care of it. It's like nature, really. Yeah. And so people can come and enjoy this. Uh, it's very inexpensive for people to come and yes. to yeah. come for the day. Of course, you can also be a friend of the Bloedel Conservatory. It's partnered mm -hmm. with the Van Dusen, so people can really yeah. have a great experience yes. by being a friend, supporting yes, these great sure. uh, environment for people. And there's a great fundraiser. Or I should say a fundraiser. I mean, it's, it's a big celebration. Obviously, the scaffolding is off. Uh, Jody and Riaz. People can go to the website coming up on your screen throughout the morning. But they say he loves blondes. <laughs> Loves that blondes, hey? So Jody, Ooh, he's looking at you. He's art. looking at you. This is Kramer. This is Kramer, the lovely Malican cockatoo. So what do we need to that? know about Kramer? Kramer was adopted about six months ago. He's done his probation. He used to be very, very scared of everybody. And now he became a lovely bird. <laughs> <laughs> Half here are donated, right? So it's yes, really they're the all rescued. For them. Yes, they are rescued and they have the organic food and they treat it with a lot of love. The best life they can have. Now, I was told that, you know, if I ever needed a day off, Kramer might be a good filling because he actually can talk. I mean, he might be a bit shy right now with he the camera, shy. but what kinds of things can I heard he says swear words. We won't get into the swear word. Uh, <laughs> no, he can say I'm a good, good bird. Kramer is a good bird. He plays peekaboo. Um, hi. And what that? does he eat? He says what? Um, he eats the same thing that all macaws and a cockatoo. Um, in the morning, it's fruit and vegetables. It's OK, Kramer. Or you want to come on my shoulder, it's all right. <laughs> And at lunchtime, it's kind of a, sh a chow. And in the evening, it's nuts and seeds. Well, Kramer, tell you, you what, go. Kramer's been very good on television today. That? Jody and Rias, for how you can help the Bodell Conservatory or perhaps attend their big party that they have on the 25th, check out the website on your screen. Great. And we're going to learn all about what it took to get this place to the place it is right now with the beautiful dome. Look at this. Oh. Yeah, and what a beautiful spot we're in right now. We're just here at the Bloedel Conservatory. I mean, look at this view. What a great sanctuary to enjoy outdoors, but also indoors. But you know what? They just had a big makeover. Oh, we're going to talk about what was involved here at the Bloedel Conservatory as they unveiled all that scaffolding, and now it's ready for viewing. Stay with us. You know, and we're so lucky to have such a beautiful day out here today. But, you know, if it was a not-so-nice day, why not go inside the Bloedel Conservatory? Because it is domed. It is beautiful. It the is. scaffolding is down, down Ken. Down, yep. How exciting. When did it actually come down? Uh, last week. Okay. Took seven, seven weeks to take it down, down. So, obviously, I mean, this was your project. Tell us a little bit about how many people were involved and maybe even some of the greatest challenges because, obviously, you're dealing oh, with yeah. birds, yep. plants, insects yes. that can't just be released. Well, for, for Spectrum Skyworks, it was a major project, two and a half million dollars. Uh, our biggest challenge was the covering the dome. The scaffolding that was put on the dome covered it completely. It had to have clear covering so we didn't lose the light for the birds and for the plants. And more importantly, it's, it, has the, it was the largest scaffolding job in North America. It had 180 linear foot spine beams. So that was a big deal. Uh, secondly, we had to deal with the birds inside. And we netted inside, selectively met, uh, take the netting and moved it around. That was to keep the birds from getting escaping. Because we were opening up 20 to 30 domes a day 
as we're getting underway. There's 1,488 domes in there. Wow, so we got footage that I believe is running right now. If it's not, we can run it now. Yeah. But, you know, we can see sort of what was yep. involved. And, I mean, a job like that would have had to, I would imagine, because of what you had to do to protect what was inside, Correct. it would take a little bit longer than a typical job like that. Yes, it took us seven months, but we actually finished it two months ahead of schedule. So, uh, and, and it went very well. The staff here, fantastic. We only lost two days. Only lost two days. It's made of acrylic and, uh, acrylic, yes. and again, how many panels are the domes? 1,488 oh, in 32 different sizes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, I tell you what. Quarter inch acrylic. It is awesome. Acrylic, strong, strong, strong. strong yeah. And hey, guess what? Open in just a few moments. Make your way here to the Bloedel Conservatory. Of course, there's that uh, big event that's happening on the 25th. Details on the website. We're going to take a little break here on breakfast television. Hey, I don't think we have to worry about the rain. Russell Kate says it's going to be dry. We'll love all those details up next.